So my question is actually related to the problem that science is getting more and more complex, informative. So in, say, 19th century, most of scientists who were working on one line at least understood each other. That means their brains contained all similar information. So if something was added, everyone found it, oh, it's, it goes here, it goes here. And they all were very happy because it was a progress and they understood all that it was a progress. Now the information is huge, millions of molecules, proteins, everybody. These can fit in one brain. All scientists have different information in their brains. So if you have something in your brain and you add somewhere, something to it, you build a new model, you say, oh, it goes here. How many of your fellow scientists have the same model? I think very few. <laughs> and, and, and the chance to get them being your reviewer is still the smaller. So the problem is that any model in a, in a brain of a simple, single scientist, you make a progress. But how many fellow scientists are coming with you? I, I believe very few. And my question is, finally, how many of your papers are accepted uh, with an applause? <laughs> applause. <laughs> Well, um, actually, it was very funny. We submitted, we wrote this stuff up and sent it off to Nature because I'm, I'm very proud of this work. I think it's fantastic. Um, and Nature sent it back without review. <laughs> so we, we rewrote it, I think, and, 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 and we sent it off to science. And I have yet to hear what science thinks. But you're absolutely right. I mean, the number of people who can really appreciate this stuff, and properly appreciate because they've worked on some aspect of it and have thought about these problems, is maybe half a dozen in the whole wide world. I mean, I don't think any of the concepts are particularly difficult, but there are a number of new players that you have to learn about, and it's taken me quite a long time to, to learn about these things. When we first became into the jungle of all these wretched protein phosphatases, I was terribly confused. What I found, however, is that um, People are, in this particular field are very generous, and if you ask them a sensible question, they will give you a sensible answer. That's kind of encouraging. Moreover, if you say, have you got a reagent that we could use to... They've been extremely generous about that, too. So I've been very uh, heartened, actually. I mean, we've just been, as you, I hope you can see, as we would say, just following our noses and doing what I think is a logical next step, getting confused more often than we get clarity, and um, it's tremendous fun. I mean, it really is, and it's, it's quite, I'd sort of forgotten what, I, I've, I have experienced this before in the past, actually, when we were on the track of a similar kind of regulation, and um, my experience has always been that uh, you have some competition, you have some friends, uh, you have some enemies, usually, as well, uh, and, and as long as you sort of just keep being honest with everybody, it kind of, it kind of works out. And I, I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm pretty competitive underneath it all. I mean, I actually like to win. <laughs> I like to get there first because there is a, a peculiar and unique satisfaction about getting there first, being the first person to know how something works. I mean, that is why I do this stuff, or have done it in the past. And I think, you know, it really is time to retire, because we're never, you know, because you, you have to have the right kind of problem. Not all problems have an answer. And, um, and, and I, you're absolutely right. I mean, I'm so glad that I'm not a graduate student anymore because it seems to me really, really tough these days to find yourself some space in which to uh, operate, you know, where the, the problem is interesting and important, doable, and preferably nobody else is pursuing it. Most, I mean, every, people are so fashion conscious these days that every, the crowd is always rushing off in a certain in a certain direction, you know, you sort of, it's genomics or stem cells or 
something, you know? I mean, why, why bother to work on something when half the world, I mean, if you stayed in bed that day, it wouldn't make any difference to progress in the field. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. <clears throat> That was, uh, that was a clear message to our graduate students, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, please, uh, um, any other questions?